Good morning. Um, I'm a little late on today's video, so I'm going to do something a little different. I'm filming here in my office with my G7, uh, which I'll talk about in a future video, this whole setup. I'm recording it directly onto my machine. Got a microphone just out of frame right here. And so I'm going to see if this is a viable option for some of my videos. I don't want to turn into that guy who just records everything at his desk. But today I want to cover um, HDMI to SDI and doing it on a budget. I have a project and video coming up where I need four cameras converted from HDMI over to SDI. So I did a bunch of research and obviously there's several different types of SDI. So you've got your uh, 3G, 6G, 12G, quad link. And each of those are designed for different ways for that video to travel. They each have limitations. And um, this setup, we're going to be talking about 3G. So this won't work with 4K. But before you write this off for not doing 4K, keep this in mind. When using cameras like the G7, G85, GH5, um, this device will take that 4K signal and downscale it into 1080. So you're going to have lots of packed in pixel love, if you will. And if you're using a camera like the GH5, you're taking a 6K sensor, which is packing that into a 4K signal, which when it hits this device will take all of that and put it into a 1080p resolution. So you're getting so much pixel juice packed into that 1080 signal. So it's going to be so much better than using just a standard 1080p camera. So just keep that in mind. If you're using a 4K camera, most of the time you're going to get a nice downscaled, um, you know, signal through this device. So the maximum spec for um, this 3G setup is going to be 1080p, 60 frames per second. So this is the box that I found and it works really well. It's uh, $30, $29. I'll have a link in the description. Essentially on one side we have an HDMI input. On the other side, we have an SDI output, pretty straightforward. And also we have a power input. It comes with a uh, power supply. So if you just want to plug it into the wall, nice small cable setup. Otherwise, you can use anything between 5 and 12 volts. So that got me thinking, how can I make this work on a nice little rig attached to a cage and not have to worry about one more cable? And that's where I came up with this little setup. So what I've got is in the center, I have that little converter box and then on one side I've got a $15, $17 uh, USB battery from Anchor, again link in the description. I've got that zip tied to the box so that'll supply the voltage I need. You can for $5 pick up a USB to standard DC connector and then to mount it since there's no other way to really attach it to a cage I super glued on one of these little tiny cheese plate um, little whatever you would call this posts if you will um, I'll have another link to this also something else that's a hair uh, less expensive and uh, is a little larger which would give you some more options but it comes with several different ways to mount it um, all kinds of different little hardware and screws and quarter 20 mail to mail and all that kind of thing so now I can mount this to my cage and bam I've got HDMI to a really solid connection which is what's so awesome about SDI. First and foremost, it locks, the cables just feel so much nicer than working with HDMI. You don't have to worry about them moving around or wriggling like the one on my camera that I'm using for this. The other thing is the distance you can run this signal. It's so much better for long distances. HDMI, you're kind of starting to push it once you hit that 20, 25 foot range. Whereas with uh, SDI, you can do so much longer runs without signal loss or issues there, which is really important when you're doing multicams and things like that. So that is the little setup. Um, I'll put it on a cage and we can check that out. Um, but I'm really happy with it. It works great. Um, this thing doesn't take a lot of power. So this battery will last a long, long time without having to be recharged. And here is the final setup. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. It's rock solid. I have, you can see here, I've got it bolted with two of the included bolts that came with this little cheese bar um, to my cage on my GH5. I've got HDMI right over here so I can run straight out of the camera and into the box. On the other side, I've got my um, power setup and my HD or SDI connector. And I've got it set up so on the back, I have my battery level indicator ready to rock and roll. So totally solid, legit setup for converting 
HDMI to SDI for 1080p signals. Um, the whole setup is probably going to cost you around 50 bucks, which is pretty great considering we now have a bang in connector. We can do huge long runs and uh, it's just a great little system and it'll work with any camera doing 1080 or 4K. So next week I'm going to have a video talking about how I'm using this and a really sweet multicam setup for video production, interviews, YouTube videos, a great way to record four cameras onto one device and be able to switch and all kinds of awesome stuff. So stay tuned for that next week. Otherwise, let me know what you think of this setup. Um, I'm going to be doing a tour of it and the backdrop and the entire desk setup here for live streaming and YouTube videos. Um, otherwise, you can watch fresh videos here at DSLR Video Shooter every single week. Live streams on Wednesdays, which are getting really fun. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.